fees, fast delivery, and free technical support. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. 15.54 to play, second half, a trip to the Final Four, and a date with the Yukon Huskies hanging in the balance here with Alabama in front of Clemson, 46-43. to and Neither of these teams shot better than 40% from the field in the first half. In the second half, Alabama 4 of 4 from the field, and Clemson 5 of 8, a little more like what maybe we expected for the totality of this game. I think P.J. Hall, he had the big dunk uh, coming down the middle of the floor, then he's got a post move with a chance here to complete the three-point play. If I'm Clemson, I'm continuing to look to play to him. Alabama has shown signs of double teaming on the dribble or when the ball gets into the paint as Hall misses the free throw. Uh, but I continue to play that. They double team. Hall will make the right pass out of it. So up the floor comes Estrada, gives left wing to Stevenson. He hands to Sears, who's guarded tightly by Hunter. Out front to Pringle, back to Sears. Veers right, fires a three. Swish! They double their lead. It's up to six, 49-43 as Mark Sears starting to come alive. And Chase Hunter was right on him. Really good defense, but Sears has the ability to make those tough shots. Here's Godfrey spinning on the right box as he spun. It's deflected out of bounds on the shot from behind by Pringle, who came over with the help defense. Yeah, 16 to shoot. Alabama doubling off of the, the man who en enters that post-entry pass. Got to have that awareness, look to kick it back out and repost, or the person that makes the entry pass has got to cut through to the weak side. Sam Walters, the freshman from the Villages, Florida, will check into the game for Nate Oates in Alabama. Inbound off the baseline, out to Hall in the wing, who hands to Dylan Hunter, who's checked into the game for Brad Brownell. Hunter dribbles right wing, gives to his brother near front court between the circles, seven to shoot. Right wing to Dylan. Dylan gives to Godfrey out front, three to shoot, bounce left, high post, Hall back to the rim, turn, shoots over a double, and hits! What a shot by one of the premier bigs in the country, 49-45 Alabama. It gives me a lot of similarities to DeMontis Sabonis. Maybe not the ability call. to get it to the three-point line, but everything else. Boy, look out, Clemson with the takeaway, here comes Dylan Hunter down the paint, near corner, Clark, a three, back rim, and they're going to get an offensive interference. Boy, that was about to carry him into the basket. Tough break for the Tigers as R.J. Godfrey touched it above the cylinder, and Alabama is going to get it back up four. And that's a good call by the officials, and it's not very often that the ball bounces that high on the backboard and then goes back down into the cylinder. Great job by Godfrey getting up there, but just got to have that awareness that it's going to go in or that it's in the cylinder and pull your hand back. Well, that vertical jump by Godfrey <laughs> looking like a young Austin Crozier <laughs> getting on the glass. 14.41 to play in the second half here in Los Angeles. Chase Hunter sits. He's been one of Brad Brownell's stars during this tournament run. Alabama 49, Clemson 45 as Ryland Griffin walks it over midcourt going to our right. Gives to Pringle, top of the key, and Pringle is fouled aggressively on the catch. Not sure Jack Clark needed that, but he is whistled here. That's his third. So a side out of bounds for Bama with 20 to shoot. Substitution here, Chauncey Wiggins will replace Clark. 14-29 remaining. Alabama 49, Clemson 45. Griffin, the inbounder. Throws into the front court, right side to Sears, guarded by Dylan Hunter. Dribbles left around his screen, now veers back to the right corner, hands to Griffin, who elevates from deep. Too much, back rim, rebound Dylan Hunter. Great defense there by Clemson, allowing to go, electing to go over that ball screen, staying right with the shooter and forcing a tough shot. Dylan Hunter holds it between the circles, passes right wing Girard, fakes the three, bounces mid post right hall, back to the rim. Backs down Pringle, Stevenson comes to double, wraparound bounce underneath to Godfrey, extends weak side, and hits a little reverse flick to cut it to two. Again, just keep playing through Hall down low, Alabama now double teaming, other guys are going to be open. Stevenson catch and shoot right corner, three, he buries it! Five point Alabama lead, 52 47. Beautiful setup by Sears along the baseline. And, just, and the minutes that you are getting from Stevenson, it is so impressive. Nelson on the sideline with three fouls. Stevenson, 13 points, only averaging five on the season. Come up on the 13 minute mark, second half. Godfrey, top of the circle, bounces the hall, left mid post. 
Back to the rim, backs down Pringle. Double team jump pass is out of bounds, looking for Godfrey underneath. Errant pass by Hall. Bama gets it back. I had Clark, or Wiggins, excuse me, wide open on the perimeter as well. A number of good options when Hall gets that, that, that ball in the low block. They did a good job of vacating the strong side, so Alabama could not double team. Clark just kind of got caught in the air in a rare poor decision by Hall. Mark Sears going to walk it over midcourt to our right. Alabama has hit six of seven from the field to begin the half, including three of four from deep. They're up five. Sears in the front court dribbles it off of his foot and out of bounds. Far sideline right at center court. Sears arguing that he was hit. I don't know what Sears could possibly be saying. I mean, it went right off of his left foot and there was no contact on the play. Two star players trading poor turnovers and both of them going to the sideline for a break. Sears is going to sit. Uh, Sam Walters has checked into the game with Estrada for Alabama. We cross the 13-minute mark. Alabama 52, Clemson 47. Gerard in the corner. Dribbles to the high post. Hard fake. Shot. Back rim twice, and it rolls in. Alabama 52, Clemson 49. Gerard has seven. Stevenson in the left corner three. It's good. Stevenson putting together some kind of a night. Six-point Bama lead. Tonight, the role of Grant Nelson will be played by Jaron Stevenson. <laughs> <laughs> he continues to just light it up and not look like a freshman on this giant stage. He's got a game-high 16 points. Incredible. Gerard on the wing bounces low right to Shefflin. Backs down Pringle. Double team kicks out Dylan Hunter. Left wing three. Too much. Back win. Weak side rebound Pringle. Up the floor comes Estrada, gets it back from Pringle straight away, dribbles right now, veers left down the paint, extends, blocked by Hunter, and Hunter saves it on a tap on the baseline. Beautiful defense by Hunter. Up the floor comes Gerard. 11.50 to play. Shefflin left open. Fires a three. No good from straight away. Offensive rebound. Godfrey center of the paint. Powers up and lays it up and in. Low right for Clemson. They're within four. Great job by Godfrey staying with that. Shefflin just hesitated a little bit on the three-point shot. He's made a number of those in the tournament. He's got to step in with more confidence. Estrada dribbling left wing, doing his dance against Hunter. Deflected away. And now it's a double dribble. Estrada arguing that it was off a deflection, but it is indeed an Alabama turnover as Chase Hunter putting his imprint on this game once again with some sensational defense. Uh, I mean, he has done it all tournament long, and that is a tough assignment trying to slow down Estrada. He stayed in front of him most of the night. And there, forces the turnover. Timeout on the floor with 11.24 to play in regulation. And Alabama in front of Clemson, 55-51. to 51. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Hey, College Hoops fans. It's the best time of year again. And if you're a homeowner, there's more to love than just incredible basketball action. Because right now, you can save hundreds of dollars replacing your old windows and doors with Renewal by Anderson, sponsor of Westwood One's coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Right now, save $377 off every window and $777 off every door. Just text March to 323232 for your free consultation and free price quote on top quality affordable renewal by Anderson windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no payments, and no interest for a year. That's right. You don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text March to 323232 right now to save $377 off every window and $777 off every door. But hurry, these big dollar savings won't last long. Text March to 323232 before the savings madness ends. Thank you for 40 unforgettable years. Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at Dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's Dell.com slash deals. Where are my basketball fans at? Welcome to Fandom 101. 
The NCAA men's hoop season is here, meaning it's time for you to bring a little charisma and chaos for your squad. Be the sixth man in the stand. NCAA Division I men's basketball. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash MVP tickets. Class dismissed. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with steel battery tools. Right now, save $50 on select AK system battery tool sets. Real steel. Find yours at steelusa.com. Offer valid on select AK system sets for a limited time only. Participating dealers while supplies last. And you can listen to the live stream of every remaining game of both the NCAA men's and women's tournaments on westwood1sports.com. Sponsored by Wendy's. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. 11.24 to play in the second half in Los Angeles. Alabama and Clemson in a fight to see which of these two schools will be headed to their first ever Final Four where Connecticut awaits in Phoenix. And right now it's Bama 55, Clemson 51. You look at Alabama, and we talked about the struggles of Sears and Estrada. Those two guys combined 6 of 23 from the field. Everyone else for Alabama above 50%. We mentioned Jaron Stevenson. What a night that he is having. Beautiful backdoor cut, Gerard. Then he passes to the cutting hall, who spins, blocked inside. Nelson and Stevenson were there, and a loose ball tracked down by Ryland Griffin in Alabama. And that was one where P.J. Hall just kind of forced it against two taller defenders. Could have looked to kick that one out. Sears dribbling top of the key, kicks it far corner with Strata. Sealed off in the baseline underneath by Dylan Hunter. He turns, kicks out to Nelson. He'll fire a left corner three well short. Nelson follows his own rebound and fell right into his lap as he cut on the baseline. And he's fouled by P.J. Hall. That'll be Hall's third. So now Austin, he's got to be careful with 10.48 left as P.J. Hall picks up his third. Yeah. I mean, he has given Clemson a lot at the offensive end of the floor, but that's a, a bad foul right there. He has five turnovers on the night as well. Clemson's going to need more from Hall down the stretch. Inbound out to the left wing to Estrada, who hands to Sears. Let's see if they attack Hall. Sears turns the corner, kicks out straight away. Nelson, he'll fire with three. Off to the left, rebound, low left by P.J. Hall. Alabama 55, Clemson 51 as we cross the 11-minute mark in regulation. Dylan Hunter straight away, curls down the left of the paint, sealed off there by Sears, bounces across the paint to the right to Hall, who barrels backing down the paint, turns, just flicked it up to the rim, knew the contact was coming, and P.J. Hall is going to shoot two for Clemson. And I think that might be on Nelson. I think that might be his fourth foul. And it indeed it is. Boy, a frustrating night for Grant Nelson, who was the hero in their Sweet 16 victory over North Carolina, is called for his fourth. You can hear every remaining moment of the NCAA men's and women's tournament on Alexa. Just ask your device to open Westwood One Sports, and you'll be able to listen to all the action wherever you are. That's open Westwood One Sports to listen on Alexa. First free throw from Hall is no good. Hall's got to do a better job staying on the free throw line. He just kind of fell back after the missed shot. Hall way too good of a, of a shooter, too big of a moment to leave the easy ones on the line. P.J. Hall tonight, 10 points, so on the season, he's got 654. That's a Clemson single-season record. Bill Yarborough had it, set it initially in 1954-1955. And that has been surpassed tonight by P.J. Hall, who takes his seat, gets a standing ovation from the Clemson fans behind their bench. Second free throw was good and it's a three-point alabama lead off the other end of the floor the alabama pass into the corner for estrada is deflected out of bounds with 18 to shoot now if you're you're alabama you're obviously disappointed with the foul trouble that you have with grant nelson but it means more minutes for stevenson who has been a thorn in the side of clemson's defense all game he's had a career night already estrada left wing takes the handoff fires a three no good off the left rim rebound underneath by dylan hunter 
and we hit the midway point of the second half. Alabama with a three-point lead, 55-52. Chase Hunter elevates right corner three, no good back rim. Offensive rebound, weak side. Shefflin kicks it back to Hunter on the wing, who attacks inside. And we get a whistle here. It'll be a reaching foul underneath against the Tide. It's on Mark Sears, his second. And the fifth make it fourth on Alabama. Underneath out of bounds, Dylan Hunter, the inbounder, throws to the right wing. It's caught there by Shefflin. 9.44 to play. Alabama 55, Clemson 52. Gerard right wing, shadowed by Estrada. Passes out front to Godfrey. One bounce, hands off left wing, Dylan Hunter. Dylan Hunter dribbles diagonally to the high post right. Double team, kicks out Gerard. Bounces low left, Shefflin back to the rim. Double team, steps middle, shoots. Stevenson got a piece. Suffocating defense forces the shot clock violation. That's the second time we've seen Clemson make a post entry pass with just three seconds, two seconds on the clock, not allowing the bigs to really have any time to make a move. Great awareness by Alabama coming across double teaming and getting the block shot. I thought at the other end of the floor, Estrada took a just kind of an ill advised contested three point shot. So both teams struggling to get some good looks the last couple of times down the floor. Mark Sears takes the inbound, will walk it straight up the center of the floor, over the timeline to our right. Alabama has not scored in nearly three and a half minutes. Here's Sears, thought about the deep straightaway three, instead hands to Griffin between the circles. Griffin guarded by Gerard, gets a screen, dribbles right, pump takes from three, gives to Sears, he'll shoot straight away, and buries a triple! Bama 58, Clemson 52, 9 left in regulation. And that was really another offensive possession that was going nowhere for Alabama, but that's when your star player steps up, makes something out of nothing. Mark Sears, big time shot. Gerard misses a left wing three, well short. Off the floor comes Estrada. Hands off Sears, he'll shoot again, but we're going to get an illegal pick as Chase Hunter was floored and knocked to the deck. It'll be on Estrada, an illegal pick will be his second personal. Yeah, you got to allow the defensive player room to get over that screen. He did not get called by the officials, but Joe Girard for Clemson. I mean, this is, it's getting tough to watch his struggles. Averages 15 a game on the season, second leading score, shooting just 26% from the field and three-point line. And here tonight, where it has been a little bit better, is three of nine. Jack Clark gives to Shefflin, top of the circle, hands off to Girard, who comes sprinting toward him, dribbles along the perimeter, gets it back from Clark. Left wing Hall, bounces Shefflin, mid-post left, backs down, drop step, reverse attempt, misses, but a foul will put Shefflin at the line. It'll be on Stevenson, his first, and the sixth against Alabama with 8.18 to play. And Clemson down 58-52. I really like that move from Shifflin. Most time when you get the ball in the low block, he's just backing his man down, backing his down man, trying to get an angle. That was just a quick move to the baseline. It really caught the Alabama defenders off guard, draws the foul. But he does miss the first free throw. And now Clemson, 6 of 10 as a team from behind the line. Shefflin, who has been just terrific in this tournament, 12 points, 8 rebounds. Second free throw is good. He's cut it to 5, 58-53 with 8-16 remaining. Which of these two teams will be headed to Glendale and the final four to take on UConn? Mark Sears, left wing, trying to fend off Dylan Hunter. Backs away and resets in the left front court. Now he attacks diagonally, dumps off low left to Pringle. Elevates on a reverse attempt, and he's fouled. Let's see who they get here. P.J. Hall is just assessed his fourth personal in what is a monstrous call against Clemson's best player. Timeout on the floor with 7.59 remaining in regulation. And Alabama in front of Clemson, 58-53. to You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. With Progressive Snapshot, you could save on auto insurance rates by driving safely, which is great because you're rarely rewarded for just being you. Ever get rewarded for being left-handed? No. You get to use weird scissors. Your reward for being a Capricorn? Cold birthdays that conflict with the holidays. And your reward for quickly responding to every work email? More emails. 
But with Snapshot, even left-handed Capricorns with proper email etiquette could get rewarded for good driving. So download the Progressive app today. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates. Snapshot not available in all states or from all agents. Running your own business can feel a lot like running a one-person relay race. When you've got to expand your team, share the baton with Indeed. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates to your roster. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. The big dance is here. The NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Championship returns on March 19th. And this year, select games are streaming on max. No matter where you are, you can stream the biggest moments on and off the court. From busted brackets to the gut-wrenching upsets and the magical Cinderella stories. Follow the whole tournament and don't miss the Final Four. Streaming on max April 6th and 8th. To win in basketball takes a can-do spirit. So shave with Barbasol and inspire your team. Raise that red, white, and blue can and yell, we can do this. If it doesn't work, you still got a great shave. Barbasol, it's a can of can-do. Jason Horowitz, Doug Gottlieb, back with you in the Verizon studios. Get the network you can rely on for your phone and your home internet and save. Find the plan that's right for you at Verizon. Dot com. Doug, sometimes it is just as simple as when you make threes, you win. Alabama was one of 13, down 13. They're 10 of their last 17, and they're up by five. Meanwhile, Clemson's two of 16 from three. And, and it's gotten to the point where, you know, P.J. Hall, his last turnaround jump shot, he had shooters wide open. Um, I think he had Chase Hunter in the corner who hasn't hit one. And instead of passing it out to his teammate in the weak side corner, he chose to shoot over two Alabama defenders and got the shot blocked. So, look, Clemson is a set play team. They they need to, out of a timeout, it's called ATO. You need to run something to get the ball inside or get a clean look. But maybe a clean look at three and step into one because a lot like Alabama, you know, when you start to, it, it starts to kind of snowball on you, you just need one or two to go in for the entire team to feel more confident in shooting the basketball. They're not even kicking out with confidence because they've all missed 14 out of their 16 threes. The Arizona and North Carolina had a horrific three-point shooting on Thursday. Clemson tonight. Back to Spiro Dita and Austin Crozier. All right, Jason, P.J. Hall, interestingly, is going to stay in the game. As Nick Pringle is at the line for Alabama, he hits the first of two. P.J. Hall, Austin, are you surprised? In the game with four personals, 7.59 left. I am. I would have thought he would have gone to the sideline probably to the five-minute mark uh, before coming back in. He's got to be smart. I mean, this is a senior. He's co played for Coach Brunel for a long time. They know each other. He knows what he needs to do. But Hall fouling out at this point be a big storyline down the stretch. One of two at the line for Pringle. 59-53. Alabama 747 to play. Here's Gerard, a straightaway three. He hits. Big shot for the Clemson Tigers. They're within three. Here's a corner three for Ryland Griffin, and he sticks it for Alabama. We just talked, Jason and Doug talked about it coming out of the break, the importance of three-point shot making. Clemson finally gets one to fall. And Alabama matches it the other way. Gerard buries another one. Right wing three. He's two, making three of four from deep. Alabama 62, Clemson 59, 7, 10 to play. Estrada gives to Griffin. He hands to Stevenson. Left corner three. And that's good. And neither team can miss. Four, four possessions coming out of the timeout. Four made three-pointers, two for each team. Gerard finally coming alive. That is a huge sign for the Tigers. 65-59, Alabama with seven minutes. Make it 6.43 to play in the second half. Chase Hunter dribbles to the right wing, picks it up, gives to Shefflin. Shefflin hands right wing to Gerard, fakes, gives to Shefflin, straightaway three. Back rim, no, and a rebound strong side by Estrada. Here he comes up the floor, passes ahead to Griffin, left corner, pump fakes, kicks out straight away, Sears, D3, got it! Alabama up nine! Alabama, one of the best three-point shooting teams in the entire country. Three possessions, three made threes. 
Ryland Griffin was knocked to the floor as the players crossed in front of each other just in front of the Clemson bench. Nothing going there as the officials quickly defuse this situation and we'll get a timeout. 6-12 left to play. Alabama 68 and Clemson 59. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA radio network. This March, Wendy's has some amazing deals on their hamburgers made with fresh, never frozen beef. Like a juicy Dave single for a buck and a fresh $2 Dave's double with in-app offer. It's such a good deal, we wrote a little ditty about it. Get it for a buck. Dave single, Dave single, order the app. Dave single, Dave single, get it for a buck. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's official hamburger March Madness. Limited time offer, participating U.S. Wendy's. The offer details on the Wendy's app. Account registration required. Fresh beef available in contiguous U.S. and Alaska. Lowe's knows pros need the right tools for every job. That's why we sell the largest in-store selection of Klein tools anywhere. Find new items like the self-leveling green laser level for just $159.98. Plus, shop the Connect pass-through socket set for $49.98, which you can only find at Lowe's. Shop Klein tools in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows tools. Lowe's knows pros. Don't you love an extra $100 in your pocket? Have a TurboTax expert file your taxes for you by March 31st to get $100 back instantly. Because no matter what moves you made last year, TurboTax makes them count. That means getting $100 back and 100% accurate taxes only from Intuit TurboTax. Must file by 331. Credit only applicable to federal filing fees with TurboTax full service. Offer can be modified or terminated at any time. Progressive presents 10 things on a contractor's to-do list that are harder than getting a commercial auto insurance quote. Bidding a new client, giving an accurate estimate, finding affordable materials, getting a client to pay you for work you already did, getting a client to pay you, period, securing permits and workers and tools, getting those workers and tools to work together, and finding the perfect pair of overalls. Pockets, baby. But the easiest thing on a small business owner's to-do list? Seeing if you can save on commercial auto insurance. Get a quote in as little as six minutes at ProgressiveCommercial.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Coverage subject to policy terms and conditions. We welcome you back to our Granger courtside seats here at Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles. Alongside Austin Crozier, I'm Spiro Dita. Stay on top of all your game with Granger. Get the industrial-grade products you need to help keep your operations running when you call 1-800-GRANGER or click Granger.com. 6-12 to play in regulation. Alabama 68, Clemson 59. It's the three-point shooting for Alabama, the number one three-point shooting team in the country, Austin that has opened up this nine-point lead. They average 11 made threes on the season. They couldn't buy one early on, and it just absolutely caught fire. 14 of 33, Sears, five of those three-pointers, and five from Jaron Stevenson. Stevenson with 19 points in just 23 minutes. Previous career high, 16 points. He is having a game, and Sears, he's done it so many times this season. Big shot after big shot. P.J. Hall has it right wing, lead bounce for Gerard. back to Hall, they leave him wide open, he'll fire, and bury a huge three for the Tigers to cut it to six. 14 for P.J. Hall with 5.50 to play in regulation. But just when the Tigers were staggered back on the ropes, Hall with a monumental shot. You hit the like button? Come on, hit now the like button defense. and subscribe too. Win, Join the family. Win to Stevenson, backs across the paint to the left, out to Sears, left wing, three to shoot, Sears jab stepping, dribbles right, unable to turn the corner, he'll shoot an off balance three over Shefflin, misses everything underneath and it's a shot clock violation. Now I'm not sure if Clemson intended to double team him when the shot got, got low, but that's where Sears is dangerous, right? I mean, this is not a good offensive possession for Alabama. And a number of those in the second half have played out the same way. It's just when you have someone like Sears that can create something out of nothing, you've got to find a way to get the ball out of his hands late. Great job by Clemson. Alabama 68, Clemson 62. Grant Nelson is checked into the game for Stevenson. Hall the fake three, dribbles down the paint, lays it up. No. Shefflin the rebound and then is bumped down to the deck. The officials are going to get Nick Pringle, and that will put Alabama over the foul limit. One and one for Shefflin with 5.14 left with a chance to cut this Alabama lead, which stands at six. 
Well, you mentioned it, Spiro. Coming out of that last timeout, Alabama up nine. And just in one of those places, again, all season long, they go on one of those spurts. Next thing you know, you're down 14 points. Clemson, a lot of credit. P.J. Hall knocks down the three. And now Shifflin here, a chance to cut it to three. First free throw is up. No good. He misses. And Clemson leaving valuable points at the charity strike. We come up on five to play in regulation. Estrada gives to Griffin into the corner. Sears a three. He buries it. 20 for Sears and the SEC's number one score starting to cook for the Tide. And I love what Nate Oates is doing, not just having him on the ball, letting him play off of the ball, finding the open spots. Great play call there by Nate Oates. Nine-point Alabama lead, 4.43 to play. Hunter on the wing, passes low right to Shiplin. Lays it up and in, and he's fouled. Turning over his left shoulder, it's on Griffin. So a potential massive three-point play for the Tigers. 71-64, Bama with 4.40 left. Absolutely, Sparrow, and if Shefflin looked like that could have potentially been an offensive foul. Nate Oates talking to the officials about it, but Shefflin, a great finish and a chance for the three-point play with Clemson in the bonus down the rest of the stretch. Free throw shooting is huge, and Shefflin misses another free throw. This time he's short, and the rebound controlled by the Crimson Tide. 4.32 to play. Alabama with possession and a 71-64 lead. Estrada against Godfrey, top of the circle, crosses over, into the paint, spins, steps back, passes out Sears. Between the circles, he'll reset. Sears dribbles right, squares up against Hunter, crosses over, into the corner, Pringle, hands back, Sears attacks, baseline right, knocked out of his hands, loose ball, Estrada, he flicks it up at the rim, misses, fight for it, weak side, Pringle takes, and he's fouled on a putback. Monster work on the glass by Pringle, and he'll shoot two with 4.05 left. So much credit goes to Pringle on that hustle play. Sears, one of the few times he has bobbled the ball, he had really had a wide open layup. It goes over the top. Pringle able to get it on the rim before the shot clock expired, continues to stay with it. Austin, looking at that replay, boy, that was still in Estrada's hands. Yeah, it looked really close shot in real time. Did you hit the like button? Come on, hit the like button and subscribe too. Join the family. So Pringle at the line, the first of two is up and good. And you're really starting to get to a point here where you're looking at the free throws. Clemson, seven of 13. One of those coming is a miss on the front end of a one and one. 64% going the other way. Clemson 2-8 from the line in the second half in a game that you are trying to climb back in. You've got to get the cheap ones at the line. Nick Pringle, the senior from Seabrook, South Carolina. Second free throw is up and good. 4.05 to play. Alabama 73. Clemson 64. Off the floor comes Chase Hunter, defended at the free throw line by Estrada. Left wing hall, handoff Clark. Clark gives to Gerard, left wing around a screen. Bounces left of the lane, Hall backing down Pringle. Sears comes to double. Hall, Hall dribbles out, they give to Hunter, right corner three. He sticks it. That cuts it to six. 73 67, 338 left. Great for Hunter. Great patience by PJ Hall. He was double teamed in the post, he didn't panic. Had a couple more dribbles and really made the right play. Sears, a left wing three. No, the tip is up and good. It's Pringle flailing at it, weak side, and he's fouled. Nick Pringle making some huge plays down the stretch. He's got 12 and 10, and he'll shoot at the free throw line to try to extend to a nine-point lead. And Clemson has done such a better job in the second half, limiting the second-chance opportunities, but the last two possessions for Alabama, both of them coming off of offensive rebounds. Timeout on the floor with 325 left in regulation, and Alabama in front of Clemson, 75-67. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Some people just know bundling with Allstate means big savings. Just like they know the right ingredient means big flavor. They know honey on pizza is where it's at. And olive oil on ice cream is the cherry on top. Mm. And they know when you bundle home and auto with Allstate, you can save up to 25%. Mm -mm. 
Bundled savings vary by state and are not available in every state. Saving up to 25% is the countrywide average of the maximum available savings off the home policy. All state vehicle and property insurance company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give. And you give. This tax season you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a new Samsung Galaxy A15 for just $99. So you can give your janky phone to your kids. Yeah. Good talk. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and StraightTalk.com. For network management practices, visit StraightTalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. In-store activation on single silver unlimited plan or higher required. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger. Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. If you think Taco Bell is only for late night, you are mistaken. Taco Bell is also for daytime, which is why it's introducing the new Cantina Chicken Menu with new Cantina Chicken Tacos, Burrito, and Quesadilla. And new ingredients like seasoned slow-roasted chicken, freshly prepared pico de gallo, shredded purple cabbage, and even a new avocado verde salsa packet. It's the Taco Bell for when it's not late night. Whoa, not just late night. Try the new Cantina Chicken Menu now. And participating in Taco Bell locations was supplies last. Contact store for participation with fix. Tonight's broadcast of the Elite Eight round of the 2024 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network is intended solely for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the express written consent of the NCAA and Westwood One is strictly prohibited. 325 to play in the second half as we come down the home stretch here in Los Angeles. Alabama 75, Clemson 67. With 3.25 to play, Nick Pringle to the free throw line with a chance to complete the three-point play. With that last tip in, Pringle has 11 rebounds and has been huge, Austin, down the stretch. Oh, he really has. I mean, defensively, he has made the front court players for Clemson work for everything that they can. He's had a couple of block shots. Mentioned the two offensive rebounds and a chance here for Clemson's last six points. Most importantly, the foul that he drew last time down was on P.J. Hall as he knocks down the free throw. So Hall is done for the game. Paul uh, Hall has fouled out just massive with 3.23 left. The free throw is good. And right now, Clemson is on the ropes. They're down 10, 76-67. Make it 9. Into the paint is Gerard. Kicks that front to Clark. Right wing to Hunter. 13 to shoot. Hunter... Dribbling against Estrada beyond the three-point line. Bounces low right, Sheplin spins middle, flicks it up, it goes, and he's fouled. Ian Sheplin trying to breathe life into the Tigers, will shoot one. He's cut it to seven with 3.03 left. He's got 17 and 10. Shefflin's had a number of big baskets here down the stretch. He's drawn a lot of fouls, but he has failed to convert on two three-point plays, and he missed the front end of one and one. He's missed his last three free throws. Shefflin's free throw is up and good. Alabama 76, Clemson 70 as we hit the three-minute mark. Which of these two teams will be headed to Glendale in a Final Four date with Connecticut? Mark Sears dribbling between the circles, guarded on a switch by Godfrey. Backs away, resets, passes left wing to Nelson. Nelson backing down against Hunter. Left mid post, steps middle, jump pass underneath Pringle. Up, blocked, and fouled by Shefflin. And Pringle continues to wreak havoc against this Clemson defense. And I think that's where you are missing P.J. Hall's size, 6'10", 240 pounds down low. Uh, just a good move by Nelson. Draws the double team and kind of makes the simple pass. But Pringle just big play after big play on the inside. Sears doing it on the outside. And Pringle does miss the first free throw. You touched on it earlier. Spiro, one of the more unique free throws I've ever seen. I, I'm trying to see if he touches the ball with his, he's a right-handed shooter, with his left hand at all. I think it's almost kind of a form shot that he brings behind his right ear, but he's got a high release point on it, good backspin on it. 
He has made a number here tonight. He does not touch it with his left hand. Interesting, and he misses both. There, he's second one short. 235 to play. Clemson the other way. They're down 76-70 in a two-possession game. Godfrey left wing gets to Shefflin right in the circle. Shefflin dribble handoff Hunter. Hunter pump fakes hard from three. Bounces high post right. Shefflin backs down, spins, spins again, kicks out Gerard. Right wing eight to shoot. Gerard gets a screen, wanders left, fires deep straight away three, and he sticks it. They're within three, two ten left in regulation. What a big time shot by Gerard. We've mentioned his struggles. But here in the second half, he has knocked down three of them and trying to keep Clemson in this game. Here's right wing Griffin inside. Pringle was overplayed, wide open, turns, drops it in, and he's fouled. What a defensive breakdown by Clemson. Pringle capitalizes, and with 151, he'll shoot one with Alabama up 78-73. I mean, Spiro, you said it, just defensive breakdown, very uncharacteristic of Clemson. You have to wonder in the late stages of the game, a veteran P.J. Hall would have kind of that calming influence, talk to his team, but that is not something you are accustomed to seeing from the Tigers. Pringle sets, crouches down, three throws up and good. Three-point play. Gets the Crimson tie to six-point lead, 79-73, 149 left in regulation. Shefflin overplayed, catches the pass between the circles and stumbles into the paint. He still has possession and a presence of mind to signal for a timeout. And that saves what would have been a crushing turnover. And both teams will go to their respective benches. Timeout of the floor, 143 left in regulation. Alabama 79, Clemson 73. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. It's NCAA championship time. Fans of the hustle. Present. Fans of the heart. Present. Fans of the flash, grit, and grind. Present. The best fans in the lands are bringing everything they got for their team. Be there when your squad hoists the ultimate trophy overhead. The NCAA championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. Back with you in L.A. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Your home for the national championships. Stay with us later for the Bosch Night Performance Wiper Blades Tournament Postgame Report. We'll check the final stats, and you'll hear from a member of the winning team. For safer driving on stormy nights, get Bosch Night Performance Wiper Blades. Available at auto retailers near you. Night Vision has evolved. Spiro Vitas, Austin Crozier, rest of our Westwood One team, downtown L.A., 143 left. Alabama 79, Clemson 73. Austin, what are both coaches telling their players? Well, I, I think if you're Brad Burnell, you can't have the defensive breakdowns. You're trying to get back into a game with only a minute 43 on the clock. Uh, you, you can't have that type of, of a letdown. You've got to get stops at the other end. Clemson's got to make sure that they get good looks. When they get to the free throw line, got to have to knock those down. P.J. Hall has fouled out for Clemson, their star player. Underneath out of bounds for Hunter, right baseline, throws into Clark, right wing. Clark curls with his left hand to the left of the paint, up and under move, flicks it up and in as he hits the deck. He's cut it to 4, 79, 75, 131 left. What a move by Clark. Again, all tournament, he has stepped up, and there, losing his balance, looked like he was going to fall to the ground. Sears dribbling. Left front court gets a screen, crosses over, shoots a step back three, and buries it. Maybe the biggest shot of his life. Alabama 82, Clemson 75, 70 seconds. And, and that's just one-on-one, -on -one, Spiro. That's just a move, breaking the defender down, making him get on his heels, pulling up, and Sears pulled a three out of nowhere. 
Boy, that one nearly a turnover. Hunter, the loose ball of the front court. A minute left. Hunter Square is going to fire a deep right wing three. It's short front rim. And Nelson skies for the rebound. Then Godfrey whips it back and lays it in. Low right point blank. What a play by Godfrey to cut it to five with 51.2 left. Oh, that is exactly what Clemson needed. Godfrey just took it out of his hands right under the basket and gets a field goal with no time coming off of the clock but they have got to speed up alabama bama turns it over in the front court and then a reach in foul pringle trying to get it back to sears through an errant pass and a one in one situation here but make it two i beg your pardon as that puts alabama in the double penalty and it will be I believe it was Jack Clark. He'll shoot the two free throws with 37.6 seconds left. What a turnover there by Pringle. Well, really two in a row. I mean, Nelson had the rebound underneath the basket, gets it completely stolen from him, and then at half court, when you are trying to hold on to a lead, the number one thing you can't do is turn the basketball over, and there, too, in a matter of just 10 seconds. First free throw from Clark is short. Huge miss. Now 8 of 15 from the free throw line in a game in which Clemson is down 5. They have missed 7 free throws. 37.6 remaining. Alabama 82, Clemson 77. Jack Clark, the graduate transfer from NC State. Set second free throw. Missed it. Pops off to the right. Rebound Estrada. And Nate Oates sees Estrada fouled here one in one situation as Estrada will make the slow walk to the opposite free throw line 35.2 seconds left did you hit With the like button come on hit the like button and subscribe too join the family you cannot expect to win close games when you are shooting 50 percent from the free throw line that's been the difference point blank Estrada sets the graduate transfer from Hofstra hits the first, and they can taste it behind that Alabama bench. They're up six with 35.2 to play. This makes it a three-possession game if Strata can knock down that, this free throw, and that would almost certainly close this game out. Second free throw is good from the southpaw. 84-77. Desperation time for Clemson. Hunter up the far side, streaks down the paint, and a hard two-handed dunk. Brad Brownell will take a quick timeout with 30.8 left. Final timeout for the Tigers. Boy, Nate Oates meeting his players at center court, screaming. He is irate that they gave up such an easy basket. Their lead is at five. Well, more than anything, it's the, the lack of time that came off of the clock. That was perfect for Clemson. So many times you'll see teams panic and go for an early three there. You need points on the board with this little amount of time coming off. And that was exactly what Clemson needed. They've gotten a couple turnovers here. They have to inbounds with a lot of pressure, looking to get a steal. Without time coming off, they'll go for the foul. Be a VIP at the NCAA Men's Final Four in Phoenix with NCAA experience, official ticket, and hospitality packages. Official NCAA hospitality includes live entertainment, upscale food stations and beverages, appearances by legends, and much more. To be a VIP at the NCAA Men's Final Four in Phoenix, visit NCAA.com slash VIP. Nate Oates will send out Nelson Sears, Stevenson, Griffin, and Estrada. Aaron Estrada will be the inbounder, unguarded. They have to bring it to the length of the floor. 30.8 to play. With Alabama up 84-79. Estrada can't find anyone. And they're going to take another timeout here. They that's, that's do smart have by two left. 30.8 with Alabama up 84 to 79. At, uh, Boston, hold that thought. We'll take a quick break. You're listening to the men's tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants to polos and khakis to Oxfords or T-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. 
here in Los Angeles, 30.8 seconds to play. Alabama seconds away from what would be their first ever trip to the Final Four. They'll inbound, bring it the length of the floor. They lead Clemson 84-79 with 30 seconds left. Alabama likely to have all five players out of bounds on the sideline. We have seen this play a number of times. All they have to do is get it in, and they do to Nelson. Nelson draws the foul. Double bonus. So Grant Nelson, who has had to deal with a lot of foul issues tonight, an 81% free throw shooter, two of three at the line tonight. He'll have a chance to extend this thing to a seven-point lead. Now, if you're, if you're Clemson, if Nelson makes both of these free throws, if you can recreate what you did the last time down the floor, get a quick two right at the rim, go for another foul, that is an option. But if the play starts to take a little bit more time, you're going to have to look for the three. Nelson makes the free throw, extends the lead to six points. Couple of substitutions. Pringle in, Stevenson out. 29.5 seconds left. The kid from Devil's Lake, North Dakota, population 7,000. One more free throw to try to bump this thing to a seven-point lead. Nelson sets second free throw is perfect. Alabama 86, Clemson 79, 29.5 left. Up the floor comes Hunter, streaking up the near side. Dribbles left of the lane, spins. Stripped on his way up by Estrada. Hunter, the loose ball. Gets it back. Here's Gerard, right wing three. No. Fight for it underneath. Estrada has it, and he's fouled. Boy, it looked like Gerard took a little bit of contact low on the three. No whistle. And now Alabama, two more free throws with 16.9 left, and they're up 86 79. The Clemson certainly dug themselves a hole. They were looking for the quick two in transition. It really wasn't there. And then the active hands of the Alabama defenders was just kind of a complete breakdown play. Gerard, who has had his struggles but knocked down three second half three pointers, comes up short. First free throw rattles off the rim to the left for Aaron Estrada. 16.9 left. P.J. Hall, keep in mind, fouled out of this game. As the Tigers have had to play the last couple of minutes without their leading score. Second free throw, Estrada is good. Up the floor comes Hunter. 15 seconds. Hunter a leaning three off the top of the backboard. The officials are going to give it to Alabama with 11.7 remaining. And the celebration has already begun behind that Alabama bench. This unbelievable story for the Crimson Tide is going to continue. Did you hit the like button? Come on, hit the like button. And subscribe to too. Join the family. Was early in the season. They started six and five. A lot of people started to throw dirt on them in the SEC. But my goodness, what a turnaround it's been! And Nate Oates, seconds away from coaching this team to Glendale in the Final Four. Inbounder is Ryland Griffin. Throws into Nelson. Poked away underneath by Clark. It's taken underneath by Hunter. Out front to Gerard fakes fires a three hits 4.3 87 79 the inbound to Estrada all the way down into the layup for the exclamation point inbound to Shefflin and it is over for the Crimson Tide the city of angels is the city of dreams Alabama has punched its ticket to Glendale in its first ever Final Four. They have knocked off Clemson 89-82 here in Los Angeles. This is one of the best offensive teams all season long. They got off to a slow start. They shook it off. Their best player, Mark Sears, what a fantastic performance from him tonight. 23 points and just a dagger after dagger late in this game. One-on-one -on -one moves. Great player making big plays at big moments. Give a lot of credit 
to Stevenson. The freshman comes in with a career-high 19 points. Big plays from a number of contributors. They got the stops when they needed it late. And Alabama to the Final Four. Nate Oates embracing his players one by one as the Alabama team all over the court celebrating what is the biggest moment of their basketball. Jared Stevenson from Alabama, congratulations. You're headed to the Final Four. Describe the emotions, what this feels like with you and your teammates. This is amazing. Um, your first year here, uh, just making the impact, um, doing, the, doing the right things, getting stops. Um, I feel like we stepped up in this tournament. I'm proud of our guys. Grant Nelson, your teammate, had a huge game for you guys. The last game out, obviously a big storyline coming into this game. He picks up two quick fouls. Your number is called a little earlier than normal, a little more minutes than normal. How do you stay ready for this moment and step up and play the level that you did? Uh, just practicing. Uh, I was always ready for this moment. I always stay prepared. Um, just, yeah, with Nelson, uh, getting those quick two fouls, I knew I had to step up, um, make, make shots, and uh, do what I had to do. Your game, obviously, you have the ability to spread the floor uh, out to the three-point line. You like to post up. How were you able to make the right reads on how you were being guarded in this game? Again, just practice. Um, we do a lot of blood drills. We call it blood drills where uh, we get the advantage and we got to make the right reads and practice. And I feel like that prepared me for this moment. Now, your team, one of the best offensive teams in the country, you certainly had your struggles in that first half. What did Coach Nate Oates say to you guys at halftime that allowed you to come out playing at a completely different level? Well, I felt like in the first half, the shots weren't falling. We were still getting good looks. And I feel like the second half, um, we just locked in, knocked down shots, and hit the open man, and yeah, we just caught fire. And that really pushed us over the limit. Jared, congratulations. We'll let you go celebrate with your team. Thank congratulations. You. All right, Jared Stevenson, all smiles. What a night. What a moment for that young man. And Austin, they needed someone to step into the void yeah. in the first half with Grant Nelson dealing with the foul issues, and it was this kid, Stevenson, who grew up in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. He's only a freshman. One of the biggest reasons why Alabama